Check God. Yeah. What's going on, people? It's your boy J. Got the Core Live in Effect. We're here with another exclusive interview. Um, today we we got a special interview because we got two of the top comics here in Richmond, Virginia. We got Remo Mills. What up? What and up? we got Tank. Might be funny. You, you. All right, so. We just gonna just jump right into it. So I, I've been knowing these cats for a while, um, and we ain't gonna take too much of y'all time. So, so Remo, how long have you been doing comedy? About eight years. Eight years. Yeah. What, what got you started, and why? Um. So somebody said I was funny. They said I should try to do comedy, uh, and uh, I just jumped in. I tried it, and I went to the funny ball. Of course, I did a clash of the comics. I ain't get on. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I was like. Let me do this. I, I ended up linking up with somebody, and uh, we went to like a little local bar. Okay. And, and we did it there, and I got heckled, but I was like, I like it. I'm okay. Good. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Tank, what about you? Uh, I've been doing comedy for about what, three. It'll be three years in July. Three years in July. What got you into it? Uh, I started making videos on Instagram about five years ago. Okay. And I started building the following, and everybody said, "Yo, man, you definitely need to try comedy. Try it. Try it." And after my mom passed, she always told me, like, yo, you're going to be famous. Like, I may not be around to see it, but you're going to be famous. I just brought, you know, your mama tells you, I just brushed it off. And after she died, I was like, man, I might as well try it once. And uh, I seen Remo live one day, and I jumped in his live to see your house comedy. He said, man, come to my room and check it out. I went to his room that Friday, and ain't, ain't stopped yet. To get a little personal with you, with, with your mother passing, how did that affect your comedy? It made me want to do it because of what she said. Like at first, I was just, ah, uh, whatever. I just keep doing my videos on Instagram. Maybe I get famous off that. But when she, when everybody used to tell me at jobs, they're like, hey man, you supposed to be funny. You need to be a comedian. Whatever. But when your mama says it's like ironclad, like, oh yeah, it's 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 real. Yeah. So when she died, I was like, man, I gotta make her proud because I couldn't do it while she was here. So at least one thing I could do is at least she can, at least know I tried. Okay. So I wouldn't have felt right if I didn't try. Okay, to piggyback off of what you said, when he actually um, hit you up on the live, how was his first set then when he came to your room? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> nah, he did all right. I mean, it's the first time. Like, I, yeah. one thing I, I know, like, uh, every room I run, you know what I'm saying, I just want people to be themselves. So, gotcha. when you see himself, he good. Gotcha, gotcha. So, why did you start doing rooms? Uh, cause I felt like a lot of comedians, you know, won't have no place to work out. Well, black comedians won't have a lot of place to work out. You know what I'm saying? Our rooms just pop up and go down so fast. So I just wanted a place that we could work out, people to be themselves and, you know what I'm saying, and get loose. For those who don't know what a, a room is, break it down for them. So a room, I've been doing open mic rooms, basically, you know, I, I link up with an establishment. They'll give me a spot, you know. You know, Friday, Saturday, whatever, one day of the week, give me some time. And, uh, you know, comedians just come up, sign up, hit the mic, do your thing. You got any rooms coming up that anybody need to know about? Uh, I do Brewer's Cafe. That's uh, on 1125 Bainbridge Street in Richmond. Uh, every first and third Sunday at 7 o'clock. Sign up at 630. It's always live, man. And we have a good time. Got you, got you. So piggyback off of what you're saying um, with the rooms and all that, and, and how y'all met or whatever. Uh, I know y'all guys do a, a show called Lock the Door. Tell, tell the viewers a little bit about that and, and, and what it's all about. Both of y'all, actually. Uh, well, last, I want to say it's about a year ago, I, I made like two videos that hit like a million views. Like one of them hit 12 million, the other one hit like three million. And I noticed my following was going up. So I'm like, man, well, I want to start doing something live. Like I knew I can go live and get 30 or 40 people in there. But I'm like, yo, I know Remo may need some followers. He need to build his social media up. He suck at making videos. He not too consistent. So I'm like, man, let me get Remo on. So I hit the one and said, hey, man, you want to do a show? He said, I don't care. <laughs> and we had another guy. He was like, yeah, man, I'm going to come with y'all. So we walked in Remo house. Remo said, hey, man, lock the door. Mm -hmm. And the way he said it, that was, that was it. So like, was it. Lock the door. That was it. So I know, I know that y'all got merch and all that. Like, is it, is it available for purchase right now? Uh, no, we looking for somebody to make our make more because uh, the one we had is like I feel like it's charged way too much for our shirts. Okay, so it's like we we definitely are shopping around to see 
who got the best product and that's affordable. We ain't trying to pay five for two hundred dollars for five shirts. Anybody who's watching this that can hook y'all up, yo, hit them up. Please. Cause cause they, they some good people. They need to build their brand and yo, holler at them, you know what I'm saying? And I might be holler at y'all, let y'all know I got a couple guys that I work with. Um so um Remo. What up? Let's get a little personal, man. Why, why, why you wear glasses, man? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Nah, um, so, so I did notice that you was on, on, on the road uh, a couple days this week. Uh, how did you get hooked up with that? And do you have any other dates that anybody need to know about? Uh, well, uh, I've been linking. I've been, I've been messing with Lunel for about oh, two years now. Two, three years. Side note, is she, a, is she really a freak? Uh, I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, our relationship is real cool. Like we chat, we that's it. Like um, you the little bro. hey y'all. So yeah, look, the way he's smiling, the way he's smiling, right? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know if that answer is true. Yeah, but no, go ahead. <laughs> no, because I noticed the picture, right? When we took a picture to, uh, on Sunday, whatever. Did she ever tell? Yeah, I ain't know though, cause she was like. What you you damn right I did. <laughs> that was a good picture. No, but uh, she was like, she was like, all right, she's like, uh, she was like, look at the picture. I mean, I looked at it. I said, oh, I didn't know she did that, but uh, she called me nephew. So that's what's up. How does it feel to be to be uh, around people like that, knowing that you up and coming? Well, I mean, it feel regular. Like a lot of people, they man, they put too much on celebrities. Like, you know, I used to work in a studio in Atlanta, and I kind of saw how people, groupies move, you know what I'm saying? Like, I work with, you know, Jim Jones and, and, and uh, Gucci Mane, Waka Flocka. Like, I was in the studio working with these people, and you know, I used to see how random people come in the studio, and like, oh my God, I'm like, bro, this, he regular, just like me. Lunell is, she's so down to earth. She cool as hell, man. So, is Gucci a clown? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't never seen a faded nigga in real life. <laughs> this dude looks like a pair of washed jeans. Like you know, how he, you know, he washed the jeans twelve times. Like he look in real life, he look dusty as hell. Damn. He the old Gucci. The old Gucci. I'm talking about the new. Gucci. The new Gucci used cocoa butter. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, so I don't know the new Gucci, but I know that dude in the studio that day, man. I he it was what it was. He just had a room full of yes men. He was like, hey, you heard that? I said, burr, burr, burr. I said, oh, hell no. They was like, yeah, that go tight. I was like, yup. I ain't gonna get this session over with, man. Damn. It was cool, though. Yeah. Tank, so we got a show going up, or not we. Y'all got a show coming up on June 16th. Tell us about that a little bit. Uh, well, yeah, June 16th, we got a show for Father's Day. Uh, Remo is a father. I'm a, a stepdaddy in training. Uh, so <laughs> that's pretty much I'm going to get a shirt that says stepdaddy in training and everything. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so uh, on the 16th, man, we finally want to do something for Father's Day. You know, Mother's Day, everything gets shut down. You get every Mothers get everything. Dad, you get a pair of socks. I'm like, all right, you're good. So we want to bring the father some laughter, possibly give away some, some stuff at our show, and definitely going to pretty much cater to the dads that day. Yeah. This is, this is a Remo. I give it to Remo. It was his idea. Okay. He's like, man, I think we should do a Father's Day show. And then that's the homie. So if he, if he recommended, I'm going to rock with him. So, dude, is there, is there a way to get tickets already? Is it, is it set up yet? Like, what's going um, on? We are always setting the tickets up on event right? Okay. So, uh, hopefully, by the time this, you know, drops, we'll have everything uh, linked up. So, y'all can catch us. Come follow us. Check us out on Facebook. Um, and... So tickets should be on sale by Friday. Yep. This Friday. This yep. Friday. This Friday. So this interview should be up by next week. So the event right should be already up. So yep. hopefully I had a link and I can link it below and y'all can go reach out to them and, and support um, local comics. And yo, by the way, call the local radio station and see if y'all can get tickets from them. Mm. See what happens. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, yo, power, yo, 106, yo, K95. Yeah. Yo, I need I need them Father's Day tickets. You know what I'm saying? See what happens if they say no. Be like, yo, y'all need to get them and support the local comics. Yeah. Um, so um, it's trash marketing. marketing. <laughs> I like that. So yeah. is there anything that y'all want to say to end out? Um, we 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 ending it actually perfectly right on time. Like anything y'all want to say, do whatever plug. It don't matter. 
Uh, definitely follow the Lock the Dough page on Facebook. You can follow me at Comedian Remo Mills uh, on Facebook. Comedian, I mean, I'm sorry, Remo underscore Mills on Instagram. Lock the Dough page on Instagram and the YouTube for Lock the Dough. I'm even popping over here. I'm going to try to link all that. I'm going to get them to, yo, it took them a minute to send me the address. So I'm going to see <laughs> how long it takes them to send me all this information <laughs> link below. Anything uh, you want to plug? follow me on Instagram at Comedian Tank Carter. I'm also on Facebook at Carter Leonard. If you say I got too many friends, just add Tank Carter. I got two pages. And if you ever want to watch any of my videos, just go in the search bar on Facebook and type hashtag Tank Might Be Funny. And all of my videos will pop up right there. I'm going to end it like this. Is there anything that you guys want to say for people who, who are up and coming that are just doubting themselves that feel like that they can't do it? Um, I'm going to start with Tank and then I'm going to end it with you. Um, any, any, any advice that you want to give to anybody that, that want to be doing the same thing you're doing or any, anything that they want to do that they feel like they can't do? Uh, stop putting off tomorrow what can be done today. Don't, don't listen to your inner stomach. Don't listen to outside people. If you know deep down in your heart you want to do comedy and that makes you happy, go for it. Learn your craft. Don't think you're just going to get on stage and be funny like you is at the cookouts or at work. Learn your craft. Watch other comedians. Read books. Study. Work on your jokes. That way you can start getting booked and you start getting more stage time. That's what the comedian told me. More stage time you get the better. So enrichment is limited, but try to get as many stages as you can. Uh... Yeah, basically the same thing, man. You know, you gotta listen to that inner, inner, and the inner light, the inner voice, and uh, follow, follow that. I think that a lot of times we let fear get away, and we get discouraged from something small. Bruh, don't worry about none of that. I'm, I get afraid. My, like, I, when I get, a, I go to get on stage. Every time, this happens every time. Like, I'm hyped. I'm like, I'm gonna kill this show. Then two minutes before I get on stage, I'm like, oh, damn, what am I doing? What am I doing? Am I doing this right? What am I supposed to do? I get butterflies. I start shaking. And then I get on stage and boom, it go away. It's like, it's crazy. I don't know why. But um, that's just like, I don't always say the devil, but that's that self-doubt. It comes, it's, it, it's there. You just got to ignore it. Keep pushing past. Follow your dream, man. So, I just keep going. Yo, I'm so, uh, well, Good job. Definitely thank Jay God for giving us the opportunity, man, uh, to jump on this platform. Yeah, and, uh, man. Your boy God. Yeah, God doing some things, but y'all make sure y'all stay in tune with him, man. Definitely. Yo, man. I appreciate it. Um, I did want to publicly thank both of y'all because the first time I was in the hospital, y'all did something that y'all y'all didn't have to do, and I appreciate that. I'm not going to put it out there, but I appreciate that. Yeah. And I do agree with everything he said, except for listen to your stomach, because sometimes I got to shit. So I'm going to end it with that. Hey, Holla wait, at your boy. Wait, wait, and we're going to end wait, it wait, with good vibes. Hey, Yo. Hey, shit. <laughs> Yo, stay tuned for the next episode of Live with Jay Got. Um, and if anybody y'all want to um, get on the platform, yo, hit me up. Yeah. And let's do it, man. Like, I'll pull up anywhere. I'm not going to tell y'all where I'm at right now, but just know. We need to try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We out. Was you know? that a gunshot? Okay. <laughs>
Check out. Yeah.